Hey, what's up? This is Bart Cooper. We're in LA today. We're shooting with Dutch Masters. Gonna show you my creative process on how I created the box. Just walk with me, and we're gonna see how we do this. Born in West Africa, Liberia, it was the age of three. Um, my dad was drawing a portrait, and I remember right when he was done, I kind of just picked up the pencil and I was like, I could do something like that. And then I just started drawing right off of that, and um, I stuck with it. What well, influenced me from color. Color is where you get the feeling from, the, the emotions of the painting and the piece and stuff like that, the vibe. So I, I vibe off of that a lot. I'm a mixed medium artist. I, I use whatever type of medium it takes to bring out the visual. And then I also tap into technology where I feel art is going as well into the digital era. My thing is taking the traditional and taking the, the digital era and merging those two together to create the vision. Transitioning as an artist into the fine art contemporary world was pretty simple because I'm an overall kind of artist from a graphic design background to illustrator background and um, just, just a, I, I would say I'm more just a, a, a creative in general. So coming into the fine art world is, was pretty simple because um, my background was that. I was trained in that. The first body of work was to introduce people to the Purple series. So a lot of great people I feel that are successful in their field. I feel that they're one of a kind, they're rare. Um, that inspires me that I took a page out of their book. I use them, I, I, I paint them and then I dye their faces purple. So all the people from the purple series are all purple. Then I use like a splatter color. It just shows that the splash of color is someone coming into this life and making the world a more colorful world when they leave or why they're still here. So it's just something to encourage other people when they look at this body of work to pretty much leave your mark in the world to make it a little bit more colorful then you left it. And that's what each individual, I feel, of the Purple Series represents. I try to look for a, a, a reference piece that actually captures the, the person's soul. The Purple, like I said, is just part of the series and it's just symbolic for royalty. So the underlining texture of it just brings it more to life um, with the different shades of purple. I got a more of a crimson type purple in there to kind of show like, you know, he has some sort of blood. When you're looking at the piece, it has the focus and then the splatters around it. Each one has their own sort of colors and mood that I try to play with. So when you look at Michael, you got a little bit of like, you know, the, the, the wild, just unconventional splatter, but it has like a darkness to it. When you look at some of the splashes, there's some little details of heart within the splashes too that you can see that you can just tell he was just motivated by love. Well, my pieces are very rare, so the one-of-a-kind exclusive pieces that I do, um, they mean a lot to me, and also I'm kind of a little bit picky on who gets to acquire those pieces. So the negotiation, we can, we can always negotiate pricing, but most of all, I'm very stern with my prices, and you gotta have your life together to be able to afford my pieces. My collectors vary, they range from rock stars, to Rich Lou Dennis and Ben Horowitz, who's more into the tech world. I got some names that sometimes is off people's radars. Floyd Mayweather, he's one of my collectors, and the list just goes on. The collaboration with Dutchmaster came from, I went to an event and pretty much just started talking to the marketing director of, um, the head of marketing with Dutchmasters, and we just followed each other on Instagram, and she loved my work, asked me to be a part of the team and to head on the campaign for this year going into next year.
learning more about Dutch Masters, it was interesting because they focus on their, their mascots are a painting of Rembrandt. So they, they, they play on with the art scene as well. So that's, that's kind of how the whole synergy kind of connected together when we did the collaboration. I feel Dutch Masters is a great collaboration because not only does, does it come from the lifestyle that I'm involved in, um, you know, coming from Philly, Dutch Masters was what people were smoking back then. They're creating this, this format of where you have hip hop, music, and the urban lifestyle, and they're interjecting those. This has just been a dream in a sense because it's, 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 it's kind of funny because all my friends are hitting me up now and they're just like, man, we used to smoke those things back in the day. It's crazy how now you're on the box of Dutch Master. And that's not something I even like, this stuff just happened organically. It's not something that I planned, you know? So that's a dream and that's just, that's just interesting to see how stuff comes full circle. Well, my ultimate goal as an artist is to pretty much just Tell, tell the story, tell the story of the visuals of the environment that I came from, things that I've experienced, be a voice, create change, evoke thought, but most of all, um, challenge the art world. 